James Adams from TriStateFootball.com here with Matthew Way. Matthew, coming off a good junior season. Three picks, one for a touchdown and 56 tackles. But it's April right now and you're in the workout room getting ready for 2013. Talk about what you're doing right now in the spring to make strides to make those numbers even better for next year. Uh, we've just been really working hard, uh, getting a lot stronger and faster. We've been doing a lot of quickness drills and stuff to try to get our feet a lot faster. Be able to break on the ball better, probably get some more uh, turnovers for next year. Turnovers always good, but the, the strong point of the defense last year was just absolutely shutting teams down. You're going to lose some guys up front this year. Obviously, Sam will be back in the middle. Just got done talking with Austin, who's a great guy in the secondary as well. Talk about what your expectations are for this year. One, to better last year's effort defensively. Two, you know what you expect with the turnover and, and how that's going to play out. Uh, well, I think we're uh, a lot of young guys are going to step up on the D line and stuff, fill a lot of those roles that uh, a lot of strong guys that we lost at last year. But uh, I think we'll be good. We'll have a good linebacker core with Sam in the middle. We'll be strong, and then our safeties will come down and make a lot of plays. And I think we'll be very strong again this year, and hopefully get some more shutouts. Part of being strong is doing the workouts that you're doing right now in April. What motivates you on a Monday in April to come out here and work out, knowing that football season is still four months away? You're kind of in that midpoint point between last year ending and next year. What's what's driving you to, to get it done here on a Monday? I'd say uh, that team in uh, Fort Thomas over there They've been beating us the last couple of years, and it just really drives you to keep getting better and just beat them. You know, I, I just talked to Austin about it. You guys climbed a hurdle with Johnson Central last year, and now Highlands was the next step, and you were close next year. Is that – I mean, it, it, clearly it's, it's dominating. I even see the sign in there asking if you work harder than a bluebird today. I mean, what what is it – you know, you know, what is it that you feel like you guys have to do to get over that hump? Just – I'd say uh, get more turn turnovers and limit them. I think that was a big, big thing how we lost last year, but – I think we're just going to keep working hard, and I think we can. I think we have a good shot this year to really knock them off. When you get ready for next year, you know, with the uh, with the new guys up front on the defense, do you expect teams to attack you more through the air, more on the ground, or do you even care how they're going to come at you? You just go out there and get ready to play some ball. I, I don't really care. I feel like our coaches put us in great situations to stop teams, how, whatever strength they have, and I just hope they try however to score on us. But I think we can stop. Anywhere they come. A lot of experience here at Covenant Catholic from you, and now moving into your senior year, it's your turn to step into a leadership role. How do you embrace taking over that leadership role? And, you know, do you lead by example? Do you lead verbally? What What is it that you do to become that senior leadership? Um, I'd say I try to mix a little vocal and uh, lead by example, you know, try to get the young kids up and try to really show them what to do and, you know, just really teach them like that. Well, it's been a long tradition here at Covenant Catholic, and Matthew, you've done a good job in continuing it. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, good luck not only coming in August, but getting through the workout season without getting too bored and staying focused. Thanks a lot, guys. That's Matthew Way from Covenant Catholic.